I believe this is the eighth episode of Road to Rank 1. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. I'm sorry I haven't really put a video out for this uh, series for quite a few days, but I'm getting, trying to get back into it, maybe record a big session. So last video we ended up at 1370 and we were in the top 60. Now it's been a while since I've recorded, so we're actually at rank 88 right now. Let's try to get a few more wins and see where we end up at. If you guys are enjoying the daily content and crazy custom maps and you're not currently subscribed, it would be greatly appreciated if you do. There's actually currently 65% of you guys who haven't subscribed to the channel. So yeah, everyone that subscribes, it really helps me out. And I've hit the bell to be notified when I get a new video out. It helps me out as well. So I've had a couple of people tell me that in this Road to Rank 1 series, it'll take forever for me to get anywhere uh, if I do three games of video. So I might continue this series on stream and do some stream matches as well. Uh, so there might be a bit of an influx of increased MMR here and there. Feel free to check it out and uh, follow. And uh, let's get right into this video. Ooh, the infamous dot. I love I love playing people I don't know. That's uh, That makes it a little more tricky, but hopefully we can get this win. It's been a while since I've played ones, like four or five days. Let's see if I can take control in the corner here. He's going to probably stay pretty close. Nice little high flick. Makes him waste a lot of boost. I missed the boost. Oh, there we go. I was lucky. He's very low. Let's see if I can get the boost from him. Nice. If he spawns on this side, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Probably would have been a goal if it was the other way. He's very low. He's very low again. This boost should hopefully spawn. I got him under pressure here. So I don't want to let go of the pressure. I think I missed. Good defense. Should be able to get the boost again. He's very low, so I'm just going to keep the ball close. And there we go. So I was just holding boost possession that whole time. That's pretty spooky, though. He's making good challenges, making good spacing. I have no idea who this guy is, though. I shouldn't challenge this ball. He's probably going to chip it forward. So him making that shot allows me to get boost. But I did die, though. I probably should have flipped towards it. And I didn't get the return favor. That's cool. Thank you, game. <laughs> he gets to spawn in front of the ball. I do not. That is unfortunate. You know what happens sometimes? We'll move on. I'll try and get some boost pads here. Missed that one, but... It's close. He's going to get the boost off me. So I'm just going to stay close to this ball. There we go. He's going to touch it here. He's in an awkward position. It's a good 50 by him. I'll bump him so I can stay with the ball a little bit. There we go. He's gonna get that mid boost. There's no reason for me to try and go for that. Should be alright. He'll touch it over. It's fine. He's making good touches like I said. That's a bit of an aggressive challenge by him. Same with me though. Uh, but I knew I could get a pretty good 50-50 there. He was in an awkward spot to try and catch the ball or uh, make a shot, so I just went for the 50. There we go. Good 50-50. That was a lot better than the first two. Or three. I use my space pretty wisely here. It's a really good shot. There's not really any way you can really save that if I use the space properly. Unless he pre-jumps, but even then it's still pretty difficult. I'm do a bit of a slower kickoff. He actually demoed me. I find that when I play against Dominus in 1v1, some weird stuff happens off kickoffs and stuff. I'm not really sure what. I'm going to get this boost before he can do anything. Should be a flick here. Yeah, it's open. So we went for the mid boost. Ends up giving me the position to uh, take the ball away from him. And then I'm able to score it. He went for the boost. I thought he was going to make an immediate shot. So it kind of scared me to challenge like that. But I was going to jump in the way if, if he went uh, earlier. See if I can fake this a little bit. I don't want to touch the ball yet because it'll go towards him. I don't know if that was enough. Oh, oh, I hate this game. How is that not in? Just faking this a little bit. He's in an awkward spot, so I don't want to force anything. There we go. I was going to pass that to him, so I decided not to do that. 
Awkward touch. Just touch this like this, and then just maybe take a shot. It's a bad shot. He ends up throwing it away though, so now I have possession. It's a good 50. I should be able to get back though in time. It's kind of awkward, but he actually used quite a bit of his boost. So it lets me come in and challenge this. Especially on that, that play that he just made. It should roll out for me pretty nicely for me to score this. And there we go. First game down. Not too bad. Good return to the 1v1 scene. <laughs> it's weird. It says I'm at 1970 plus 10, which would be 1980. But when I go to find a new match, it says 1979. It must be like a Bacchus mod, like the rounding issues. Um, but yeah. So we got plus 10, but we're probably like, I don't even know, 1979 point something, like point three or something. All right. We got him again. So now we're, we're, we're the, uh, not the underdog anymore as far as ranks go. It's going to come back to me. Okay, he's going for the boost. I'm not sure why he's doing that. He's done that in the previous game where he just goes for the boost while I'm in the middle of trying to uh, collect the ball. Uh, it gives me the space to just take the ball and score. Not too bad so far. So the slower kickoffs have been working pretty well for me off him. I don't really know how to approach Dominus kickoffs that, that much. Should be enough to go top corner. There we go. He challenged a little bit too early. I was able to just pop it above him. And then that final push is when you like fake that you have no boost left. And then continue the uh, air dribble. Hopefully I can get back on this. So I'm low boost. So him challenging here would be pretty dangerous for me. But he gave me the space to just flick the ball and get out of that situation. He's actually going for that. That is very surprising. Try to shoot that. End up getting uh, possess possession. Might shoot that again too. I'm just gonna go back corner boost, give him a little bit of space, but hopefully doesn't end up too threatening. And I think I missed the open net. I did. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. Still two goals up though. A bit of fakes. Just mind game him a little bit. There we go. I knew he was gonna challenge the second I made the first pop, so I made it a little bit wider than I usually do, and then just get a flick over. There's no way he can really challenge me, so he's just basically a sitting duck. Get the 50-50 here and then take the boost. I'm just waiting for him to challenge after he's got low boost. I'm going to fake this and then take it around. Ah! Should be a goal. Ooh, never mind. That's a bit of overcommit by me. There we go. Oh, not the greatest. Hopefully pop that enough that he has to clear it. Just keep popping it towards the net. He's very low. There we go. Get boost possession again. Same deal here. He's going to maybe challenge earlier this time. It's a good fit save. I really shouldn't have tried to shoot that after I made that pop. So we get the boost. So he's low. I'll probably flick it. Oh, he missed the ball. That is a bad shot. That gives him possession on the ball. It'll pop, pop out to myself. I challenged this immediately. That was kind of dumb, but I had to try for it. I really didn't. <laughs> he missed! Oh my god. I'll take that. It's not the greatest flick. I'm going to go for the demo on him so he can't uh, immediately turn on that ball. I cannot believe he missed that. Alright, that's fine. He kind of threw away the possession there. Nice, very low boost. It's a very awkward play here. Just enough that he can't really get to it. I'm surprised he didn't challenge me earlier or move back. And he's gone again. Rip. Alright, so not too bad. First two games, pretty quick. Uh, hopefully we get a full match next game. <laughs> Alright, so we got Mr. Dot for the third game in a row. Just kind of play the same... Oh, that's not good. Play the same uh, kind of strategy. And now we're down a goal. So we gotta, we gotta, play, a, we gotta play a little bit safe. Uh, and still keep that strategy. And see if he changes it up a little bit. There we go. If I can shoot this properly, I can probably score it. But I didn't actually get around it in time. It's pretty low. Okay, he's changing it up. So that's what I was worried about. That he might start being a little more aggressive. Alright though. That's just in. Never mind, it's not. 
Yeah, so he's being more aggressive. That means we just know what to do for next time. We just pop it right over him, right as he challenges. Play away from the goal. Oh, popped it over him, but it's not going to end up in a goal here. Let's see if he does here. It's not great. It's a really bad play by me. He ends up getting the boost too. So not, not a great finish by me. Still bring this back though. Not sure why he keeps doing that. He keeps like trying to pop it towards me. He's got most boost possession. Yeah, so he's just trying to he's trying to like bait me into going every time. Should be a goal here. Yeah. He's trying to bait me in like every time and I'm just trying to change it up so that way he starts flicking the ball away. I think he's hoping that I just keep challenging like a monkey. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good shot. He's low, so hopefully I can come off this and take the ball back. It's not great, but I can still stay on the ball. He's got the boost for me. That's fine. It happens. Just let him keep touching the ball and ball chasing. It works pretty low he'll get the mid boost Let's see if he challenges early again he can't really turn here so what is he gonna do there we go he probably he probably could have boosted enough that he he challenges or get it gets around my, my bump and that way he can make a overplay interesting it's pretty low here it's gonna challenge him there we go that right into him but hopefully it's all right might be able to score this the last time he went early this time i'm gonna go early again get the boost from him make it awkward for him no i missed the shot i'll bump him out hopefully that gives me enough room to go back on the ball if he touches this to the corner it should be all right Trying to play for time. There we go. I'm not sure how I didn't demo him there, but I should be able to get the boost at least. So he's very low. There we go. It's a nice tight angle. Not sure why I'm playing so different against him. He's really kind of doing the same things. Just ch he's changing up a little bit more. But I just need to be more aware of that and adapt to it. Could be a shot from him right away. Just need to get away in the get in the way of the angle, and I don't. I want to go straight to the ball here, so he force forces himself out to make a play to the corner. I almost gave him that boost. <laughs> it's pretty bad by me. I'm gonna fake this. That way he backs off. I'm gonna 50 it. Oh, I didn't have a great setup. There we go. It's over the one touch. Try to bump him. Good clear. Should have time to get this boost and turn around on it. He's not going to be near me. It's a good demo. Let's see if I can collect the boost on this corner and then move up a little bit. I don't want to give him too much space. That's a good 50. So I changed it up a little bit and that time it messed me up. I really should have just been more patient. I had the advantage a little bit. I had more boost. He has to set up the play. There we go. It's a good 50 or good hit. There we go. Should I get really high for him? He's pr pretty awkward here. Oh, that's not good. It didn't hit the didn't hit the uh, the crossbar. Wow, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Uh, rip. That uh, that little bump sent me flying to the side. Not really sure what I did wrong uh, most of this game. I think I just didn't respect that he would change it up. Because for the last two games, he kind of gave me confirmation bias. Now he's just kind of chasing the ball down. And this is a waste of touch. Let's see if I can get the boost from him. He throws away the ball away a lot. I just need to... Stay aware, stay aware of that. Aware of that. Oh my god, I can't speak. 
That's a bad shot. What am I doing? No. It's so bad. He's making me rush. That was that's on my that's on me. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so that was that was a bad play by me. Um, I should really should have uh, anticipated him changing it up, being more aggressive. This should be a goal too. Yep. All right, let's move on to the next game. See if we can get him again, and then uh, play with that in mind. It would really help if I knew who this guy was, because uh, obviously he's good enough to be in the top 100, but I just don't know how he actually wants to play. And uh, he did change it up quite well last game. He's trying to do a faster kickoff, and it's not really working out for him. There we go, nice little change up. I haven't really done that shot against him yet, so it ends up working out pretty well. Uh, he backs off quite a bit. Once I saw that flip, I knew I had the space to do that kind of control touch. Gets back corner. Just hoping he would maybe challenge right away. Should get this boost again. I'm just gonna do the boost control. Not great for me though. I should have just uh, posture a little more. Just committing in on dumb things. It's not great. Let's see if we can hold this, uh, hold a lead after this, this kickoff. He was gonna challenge right away. He's he's been doing that now, so I know he's gonna try to bump me, maybe. Should be far enough that he can't reach it. Yeah, I'm just taking take a little more time to focus on what I'm doing instead of talking the whole time. He always flips away from defense like that. He's not shadowing very well. Yeah, he flipped really aggressively. I did not expect him to demo me there, but we're all right. Just didn't force that. I was hoping maybe he would uh, challenge again. Hope that's fast enough. I don't know if it is. No, it, once it bounced on the floor like that, it's going to slow the ball down a bit. Hit it over him. Wait for his touch. Get a nice flick. It's going to be awkward for him. Try to bump him off. Oh! <laughs> Alright, we take those. Not too bad. That was a really awkward play. I was going to try and bump him away from the ball. And then uh, follow through with it. But, you know. Let's see what he does here. I'm going to chip it in early. There we go. Do a bit of a change up. I haven't really done that either to him. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can dribble the ball with the bounce dribble if you get if you use control. It's all about posturing that first touch though. If you hit it too hard, uh, it'll be too close to him. So you want to make sure you keep it soft. So I'm gonna bring this in closer. It's pretty far. Try musty flick. Well, try. Emphasis on try. There we go. Just let it force him in. So I changed it up this game, and there he goes. He left really quick. So we might have to do a third. Uh, <laughs> another game maybe I'll do a best of seven here we got three one on him I think what's important to note is that I actually kind of outplayed myself in that one game where I lost to him I really didn't need to uh, rush a lot of the stuff I did just because he was changing it up uh, it's important to play your own game and uh, focus on what you want to do rather than you know change it depending on what what the opponent's doing obviously want to you want to adapt sometimes but at the same time play where you're comfortable so we did get him for the final game hopefully we can win uh, win the fifth game here and that'll close off the uh, the video We gotta get the, the boost at least. If he stays near the wall here, he's gonna be stuck with no boost. I'm gonna loop this really wide. And not a great shot. I should have waited a little bit closer to the net and I could have cho chopped it up. He's got full boost. Did he get the bump on him? Maybe I can recover in time. No, that's a good shot. So I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shadow a few more times uh, away from the ball and then see what he does with it. Because he's starting his attacks pretty early in midfield. Interesting. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He's changing up and just challenging very, very early. There we go. Should be able to get this mid boost, hopefully. Yeah, I just knew he was going to challenge right away. Pop it over him. Maybe make him have to touch it again. Just to keep popping it over him. 
There we go. Yeah, so he's very low boost in that situation where he had to come back and recover. So I just had to keep positioning on the ball. Be annoying. And it opens up the, the, the net for me. It's a decent 50. This could roll out again. I'm not sure if he's going to try and demo me or not. Pop it over him a little bit. Maybe give him a little love tap. He missed the ball. He's going to flick it over to the left. Not the greatest flick, but he's trying to challenge like really wide there. Once again, he, his, his defense, like he seems to push really far to the back of the net and then try to push out for, for a shot, but it's not really going to work out that well. You're giving too much space in 1v1. Obviously in 2v2 or 3v3, you'd have someone pushing up in that, in that position to make more of a, a challenge. But in situations where you're in a 1v2 or 1v3 and like 3v3, you want to make sure that you also know how to challenge those situations. And I'll just attribute it to like, hey, I should have had a, someone behind me. Not the greatest play here. He ends up getting boost possession, so I'm going to just stay close. Just be annoying. He dropped the ball, which is really good for me. That's a really good play. I shouldn't have uh, slowed down so much. I wouldn't be able to deal with it if I kept boosting a little bit. Or didn't move so slow, because he had the boost advantage. It's important to know there. You don't want to. You don't want to be in a sp position where he has more boost than you. All right, he's backing off for boost. Oh, what a save! Once again, he has boost advantage, advantage here. I don't want to be too close to him. There we go. Should I get the boost and the ball? That's not a great setup. He'll challenge it for sure. Not really sure how I didn't uh, spin him out. I think he might have held his drift, but it's still, I think he, his car should have spun out. That's one of those things where it's probably a Dominus thing. That usually spins out the Octane to a position where they can't deal with the ball. He's backwards. Should be a decent shot. There we go. So I think I need to learn that uh, for Dominus, you can't really spin him out like that the same way you can with an Octane. Decent. You might stay with this ball on the shot. Just gonna pop it around. It's good for me not to just take that corner boost because I'm gonna be stuck in a situation where, where I can't really uh, play it out. That should be a goal. Nice. A bit of an awkward play by him. He probably could have grabbed that boost and then made a play on the ball like that, and it would have been better for him. But he ended up giving me too many of his cards. So I could see what he was gonna do. Probably gonna give too much space here with this back corner, but it should be alright. Oh, I tried. I, I knew what he was going to do. He's going to set up the uh, the flip reset. It's, I, I feel like it's a lot easier to get those flip resets on the Dominus. Those scoops. Because of how long it is. The car ends up being in a better position. So he's definitely picked up the pace in, those la in these last games. But uh, I think I'm still reading him pretty well here. Put him in a spot where he has to clear it. See if he can follow the ball up. I don't know what I'm doing here. Alright, so I think he's tried to set up an air dribble or something, but there we go. <laughs> just just body him into the ball, make him have to score it. Let's hold this two, two goal lead. Ah, not a great shot. It's sometimes harder to get the right angle. Just gonna keep posturing, he's low boost. Maybe he might try to get this corner boost, but I'm not gonna let him. There we go. Uh, I didn't get the angle. I wanted that pop. Gives me the room to... Uh... What the heck? It gives me, that, it gives me the room to uh, shoot that at a tight angle. Interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting play all around. There it is. That's the final game. So we actually did move up quite a bit. We'll see where we are on the leaderboard. Uh, we might not even be that high on the leaderboard because I haven't played ones in a while, so people have been ranking up. So that was another 8 points. Alright, so we ended up at, at 1396, rank 60. Not too bad. Uh, like I said, I probably will be doing some more games on, on stream in 1v1. Try to rank up a little bit faster. Uh, we're catching up to AJ and other players like this. Hopefully we can get in the top 50 in the next few, uh, next few series. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.